What is going on, guys? Jordan here, back at it with another sales call, uh, live SMA sales call in my bedroom. Um, so this one uh, is a prospect that scheduled in my calendar. He is, let me just double check here. My call is actually coming up. Um, he is, I believe, a plumber. So we're going to give him a call and I'm going to run through my script here again. Just kind of ask probe the probing questions that we need to ask to get a good understanding of his situation. So let's go ahead and give him a call, actually. Let's see here. Eight, nine. If you guys enjoy these calls, let me know and I can make more for you guys. Hi, is this Michael? Yes, it's Michael. I also got my uh, partner over here, Eric, as well. Hey, okay. how's it going, man? Okay, perfect, perfect. It's Jordan. How are you guys doing? Good, good. Doing wonderful. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Happy Friday. Where are you guys calling from? Uh, Camarillo, California. Camarillo, California. Okay, I'm not too far from you. Is that is that where is that? Is that Los Angeles area or uh, Ventura? Oh, you're in Ventura. Yeah, Ventura County right now. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I'm not too far from you. Then I'm in Orange County. A little bit south from you. Sweet. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. What means you guys want to schedule a call with me today? How can I help? I uh, definitely want some more advice or, you know, some tips on uh, growing the business and wanted to see what you guys have to offer. I mean, um, we haven't really marketed too much other than uh, Angie Leads. Okay. So we're kind of uh, getting into it. We're looking to expand at the moment. So we want to definitely uh, test the waters and see what we got going on. Got it. I mean, as far as like marketing, what are you guys currently doing right now other than Angie's List? Or is that is that the only thing you guys are doing? Uh, uh, I want to say 80% of our business is all word of mouth. Okay. Um, took over my dad's business. Well, he retired his business and then I picked it up. Um, so we get a lot of word of mouth customers, you know, previous customers, um, a lot of family friends are plumbers. So we get a lot of customers that way as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but the only marketing tool that we're currently utilizing is home advisor and Angie, Angie leads. Okay, got which, it. Which which keeps us, you know, we're you know we're looking for more call volume and things like that. I mean, we we've only been in business since November, so I mean we haven't made a website yet. Right. Um. You know, there's obviously things that we got to do to increase our call volume and things like that. But that's the only uh, marketing we're doing currently. Okay. So uh, so what you're saying is you took over your dad's business. Most of the business that's coming through right now is through word of mouth, Angelus, and Home Advisor, correct? Correct. Okay, and then how, I mean, how busy is that keeping you guys? How much more job, uh, what, how much more volume could you guys handle? So we're getting ready to buy another service vehicle. Um, so that way I can get two more guys out in the field. We mm -hmm. can start being in, you know, multiple places at once. Um, I mean, we are a small business. There's four of us in the field every day. Um, so you know, there's only four of us, so. Okay. We're current. We're, you know, I'm. I want to keep it. You know, we're just a mom and pop plumbing plumbing shop. So I want to keep it small for now. Mm -hmm. But my ultimate goal is to have you know, five trucks in the field, maybe ten trucks in the field, mm -hmm. um, and then growing my business to that scale. You know, just definitely want to keep growing. Right. Perfect. Um, at a steady, steady rate. Yes. Um. How how consistent are the jobs right now that are coming through? Um, they're consistent. You know, we bring in roughly 50 K a month in revenue. Okay. And then that's just uh, mainly from word of mouth and Angelus and home advisor. Correct. And then how, how are the leads from uh, home advisor and Angelus going for you right now? Uh, they're, they're decent. We just sold a $30,000 remodel. Nice. Um, you know, which we're almost finished with. Um, and then, you know, we just touch bases with previous customers and, you mm -hmm. know, different we do a lot of remodels and a lot of emergency service and repair calls, um, things like that. So the, the service and repair is where our bread and butter is at because we can typically knock those jobs out in one day, get right. paid on those and then move to the next one versus a remodel. You know, you got to be there for multiple weeks to get the job finished. Yeah. And stages and stuff, other contractors on site. Right. Yeah. Right. What's your guys like, um, you, you said, you mentioned that your kind of bread and butter and services and repairs, what type of services and repairs do you guys usually, um, like to get? It's like emergency calls, you know, leaks, 
failed water heaters, slab leaks, um, you know, drains, backed up drains are, you know, a good one. Um, pretty much anything that requires plumbing. Okay. So just general, okay. So emergency plumbing, what, uh, and you said you do, you do, uh, water heaters as well, installations and repairs or just repairs? Uh, both installations, repairs, upgrades, okay. tankless and tank water heaters. Perfect. Perfect. And the hi you mentioned, uh, you do, uh, hydro jetting and drain cleaning as well. Of course. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, have you guys ran any type of Google ads in the past or anything like that before? No. Okay. Um, and then, like I said, we we don't even have a website yet. Right. <laughs> well, you're, uh, well, how, how long have has your dad been in business for, or before you guys took it over? Um. So my my dad was in business until shit, twenty fourteen or twenty thirteen. He stopped, uh -huh. went back to working for the state as a plumber, mm -hmm. and his van was just sitting out there. Needed a bunch of repairs done. I was working at another company at the time. And then, so I got the van fixed and got my own contractor's license and, uh, opened my own business, but kind of, you know, my piggybacked on my dad's, you know, van and all the, his equipment and things like that. So. Got it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I just inherited all of his, all of his stuff. Perfect. And and that's awesome that he built up the business, but you know, he did it without a website or anything like that. Just yeah, kind of went to work. He was, he was, <laughs> a one-man show he was a one-man show uh -huh. um you know and he was in business for 30 years that's so. awesome that's awesome okay and, so but now i got my buddies working for me and we need you know more call volume and and because we can handle that yeah so um we can definitely get you more call volume you said that your team is a team of four right now um so how many more calls are you looking to like kind of generate on a let's say like a weekly basis maybe if we can get to 10, 15 more calls a week, that that's doable. 10, 10 to 15 calls a week. Okay. So that's about 40, uh, 10, call, about 40 calls, uh, 40 to 60 calls a month. Okay. Yeah. And like, like I said, I don't want to bite off more than I can chew. Yeah. So I just want to kind of ease into it. And then obviously as we start making more revenue, I can get another van outfitted and you know purchased and outfitted get another technician and another helper in there yeah so slowly grow I just, I wanna, and adjust yeah yeah slowly grow exactly um do you guys only co cover ventura county or uh we go, we go as far as you know goleta to um you know orange county we don't go that far south okay um but we go to like you know the san fernando valley san fernando okay so you're uh, and you're like from ventura to san fernando pretty much yeah okay basically north hollywood ish yeah i mean we'll cover la i live in north hollywood myself so we can cover the la locations i mean i'm not overly fond of it because the traffic is a huge waste of time yeah that's so um, much traffic yes yeah. yeah, so i try to stay in ventura county or santa barbara area that's more our domain lately but i mean mm -hmm. i am willing to do la calls i'm not you know okay. not foreign to it but it for almost a dozen years now yeah. we're based out of ventura county though okay perfect yeah i mean you i mean if you guys uh, just cover ventura county that's totally fine too i mean we the cool thing is with you know when we set up your campaign we can specifically target what areas do you want to be in so ventura county should be more than enough to get your uh 40 to 60 calls a month and then if you guys want to expand to la county that's just a bigger market but i mean you don't need to go out that far if you if, if you know if you don't want to service out that uh to that area um but let's, uh, if we were to, as far as like, if we were to work together, like what would your expectations and goals be? I know that you said that 40 to 60 calls a month, um, and you're trying to keep the call volume a little low. What would be like your, the main services that you would want to target out the gate? Like if you had to pick one or two, uh, of your main bread and butter services. Slab leaks, drains, water heaters, and drains, drains. Yeah, drains, slab leaks, and drains. Slab leaks and drains. Slab leaks and drains. Um, and then you said maybe water heaters? Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. Yes, I mean, based off what you're telling me, this is something that we do. Um, this And we it's it's funny because we actually work with a, um, a plumbing company out in the county, and we help them expand to Ventura and Orange County as well. I don't know if you heard of them. It's uh, plumbing, um, but... Hmm. Yeah, we've been able to help them uh, really scale their their Google campaign, and they're spending 
when they first started with us, they were only spending about $5,000 a month. Now they're spending upwards to like $150,000 a month. Um, with, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So, you know, they're doing about half a million dollars in revenue per month now, and we've been able to help them scale them there. Um, the only downside to this is that we do, uh, we are like very exclusive with as far as like the clients that we work with and they do, they are in Ventura County. However, they're only targeting um, drain jobs in Ventura County. So we wouldn't be able to set up a campaign for you for that specific service. Um, and it wouldn't, and, and it wouldn't make sense for us to set it up for you guys anyways, because then you guys would just be um, competing on each other's like pricing and, and offers and things like that. So it wouldn't make sense. That sense. Right. Yeah, that so that, sense. so that wouldn't make sense. I mean, you guys would just be driving up the price against each other. So it wouldn't make sense. Um, but as far as like slab leaks, um, um, and then we can with slab leaks and water heaters, we can definitely help you out with. Um, and then if you guys do emergency plumbing, we could probably, probably squeeze you in there for that as well. Um, do you guys do 24 seven or is it just business hours? Um, I mean, it says 24 seven on my truck and my business cards, but I, who wants to go to work at three in the morning? Uh, yeah, not yet. Right. I mean, once you have a team, maybe, maybe then, but yeah, I mean, okay. as of right now, I like to operate in business hours, typically 7am to 7pm. Um, that way I can enjoy my after hours activities. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but, um, you know, as a business owner, if, if my phone rings and there's an emergency call at midnight, I'm getting my ass up. I'm going to go take care of it and help the client. Right, right. Um, in the beginning, um, where you guys are at right now, uh, as far as 24-7, we probably don't need to do 24-7. We can still get you calls during business hours. That's fine. And then uh, we can always make adjustments as we as, as we start running the campaign. You guys can always be like, hey, Jordan, you know what? We can start accepting calls up till midnight right. or whatever. Then we can always make adjustments to your campaign. But I think yeah. starting out, I think slab leaks, uh, water heater, uh, you said installation and repairs, correct? Yes. Okay, we can help you out with that. And uh, we can throw in the emergency plumbing campaign as well. Um, now it all comes down to like what your guys' budget looks like. If your budget's a little bit bigger, then yeah, we can target more services. But if your budget's a little bit tighter or smaller, um, then you know we may just want to target I don't know maybe one or two of those services. Do you guys kind of know um, as far as like your monthly budget, what you plan on allocating towards Google? Mm, I haven't thought about it. Um, yeah. As far as budget, um, you know, for Home Advisor and Angie, we we typically spend around a thousand dollars a month. Okay. And uh, they charge us roughly fifty to one hundred dollars per lead, at which I would contact the customer and uh, you know set up an appointment and things like that. So that that's been decent. Um, but we do also get a lot of leads from them that are not revenue revenue worthy. You know, it's yeah, they're like shared leads, leads, right? Yeah, there, there's some weird leads. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, so the all the leads that we generate for you are, is number one going to be exclusive. And then I would say like 90% of the time, the lead's going to call you directly. So you don't have to waste time with following up with the leads, chasing the leads, or um, worry about shared leads or anything like that. So the system that we build out for you, um, yeah, it's going to be sounds bitching. Yeah, it's going to be exclusive and all the calls are coming. They're, they're going to be calling you directly. So the, the booking rate is going to be a lot higher and, and much easier for you guys. Nice. So, I mean, obviously I need to get a website made ASAP. Um, so, so, uh, so yeah, the cool thing about our system is that we take care of everything in the back end for you. Um, we already have, you know, a proven system that we build out for our clients throughout the U S. Um, so we take care of everything in the back end for you. You don't need a website or anything like that. We take care of the, um, the lead generation landing pages. Uh, we set up and manage your Google ads. And then you also get a client portal where you can log in and track all the phone calls that we generate for you. Um, and then you can listen them back on calls there too. So um, you'll have access to everything. Everything's going to be trackable, measurable. And then once we get data coming in, um, your campaign becomes very predictable. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's, that sounds good. What, what's it? what's a good starting budget to be to, you know, obviously see a return on my investment for, uh, for the service. Yeah. So it's important for you guys to get, obviously get enough um, calls and enough opportunities to see your, um, to, to, to see a return. If your budget's too small, obviously we're not going to get enough call volume, not enough opportunities. And you're gonna be like, Hey, Jordan, we didn't get enough calls to close deals. So I would recommend if we're going to do, um, if we're doing slab, 
emergency and water heater. Um, I would say for Ventura County, you would want to budget anywhere between thirty five hundred to five thousand. Um, per month. Yeah, per month allocated towards Google Ads. Obviously, you're not getting charged upfront or anything like that. Um, it's uh, Google works off of a uh, a, a pay per click basis, right? So, um, someone has to search you up on Google, seize your ad, and click onto your ad for you to um build up a balance of clicks. And then once you reach like a five hundred dollar balance of of clicks, then you know Google will charge you your card directly for that. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we all thank you. I'm just writing I'm just writing some of this down. Yeah. So I, I definitely want to see if there's a way we can fit drains into advertising, but obviously we can't compete with other people. I want to see if there's a different area we can service for these drains, like Santa Barbara or something. Let me take a look at yeah, I mean the drains, I mean we cr we're we're crushing it for um for our client. He and yeah, like I said, he he started off in just LA County, um, and then he expanded to Ventura County and then Orange County. Orange County is kind of a tough market, to be honest with you. Um, oh, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, but Ventura, uh, Ventura, LA County is it's it's really good. Um, let me just double check what areas. Let's, let's what if we just did slab leaks and water heaters and not the emergency call? Would that would that? Well, I would. I want to see if we can fit drains in like Santa Barbara, yeah, Lita, sure. Carpinteria area because I mean, yeah. We gotta look here. Five um, K per month. Start with 35. Start off small because we're just supplementing right now. Yeah, I mean, you guys can start the budget at whatever you guys want. And then from there, we can um, make adjustments to your budget to meet your goals accordingly. So if you're like, hey, we'll, put, we'll allocate $3,500 um, towards the ads. We start seeing phone calls come in. You're going to know exactly what your cost per phone call looks like. And then from there, we can just adjust your budget to how many ever phone calls oh, you want to get. Okay, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. What's your marketing company called? JLE. JLE Media, and uh, we manage over $10 million in ad spend now, so we have a lot of data on what works and what doesn't. Oh, that's bitching. Yes, sir. Let me see here. So, yeah, I mean, as far as he's, he's yeah, he's in L.A. County, obviously. He's in Thousand Oaks. Uh, yeah, we do a lot of calls in Thousand Oaks, too. Yeah, so, I mean, he does drain cleaning and hydrojetting, mainly. Yeah, well, uh... Yeah, um the the emergency plumbing the the emergency plumbing campaign works really well too um that i mean that one that just has a really high conversion rate uh, we're getting a lot of phone calls coming through there too um so i mean yeah, what well, for hours let me double check here that's a good question so the cool thing is that we have data and then we can kind of just see what's working let me take a look at yeah sweet hours thank you yeah Okay, so here we go from, let's say after hours is what, midnight to between midnight and 5 a.m., you would say? Um, 30, yeah, we're converting at 30 to 40%. Obviously, a lot of phone calls are coming through there. But we're also seeing, you know what? We actually see a lot of phone calls come in too between the hours of uh, 8 a.m. all the way to, it's, it's all, it's, let me see here. 8 a.m. to about like 10 p.m. We're seeing a lot of phone calls drive through there. And actually, we convert better during those business hours, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, the later hours. That's for the emergency service? This is for the emer yeah. I mean, emergency. But this is 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So yeah, um, that's, 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 during, that's, that's during business hours. So, yeah. I mean, the campaign's going to convert either way. Um, you're going to see less call volume come through during like after hours. But obviously, like those calls are going to be probably you know, worth more to you guys, but, um, either way, I mean, the, the campaign is going to be converting either way for you guys, if you guys want to target that. Right. Um, so what we could do is if your budget is at 3,500, we can set up the water heater, the emergency plumbing and the slab leaks. And then we can kind of gauge like, Hey, where, what, which campaign is generating more phone calls. And then we can make adjustments from there. So let's say we're getting more phone calls from the, um, the plumbing, uh, plumbing side, then we'll go ahead and we'll just pause out the um, the water heater campaign or something. That way we can allocate more of the budget towards whatever campaign is driving you guys more calls. And then as you guys 
expand your budget a little bit more, then we can, you know, open up more services to target like water heaters. Got it. Sounds yeah. That makes sense. Because I would assume that for water heaters, I'm going to say that the cost per lead for water heaters are going to be um, a, a, a little bit more too. So I don't know if $3,500 is going to be um, good to spread across three campaigns, including water heaters. I believe that water heaters should be its own okay. campaign with its own budget. Companies that dedicate themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's companies that dedicate themselves to specifically just water heaters because, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a hard ticket service, so you know people are gonna have bigger budgets for that one. I don't think thirty five hundred dollars. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And Jordan, this is a good number to reach you at. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is a good question. Uh, yeah, good number to reach me at. Um, do you guys have any other questions or concerns or anything like that? Basically, I mean, you guys said you you build the website. You have like a template or something. I assume for building like a landing page, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so, I was wondering, like, how much would something like that cost to have a, the website built? Or yeah, so, you guys, so you should... yeah, great question. So we actually, yeah, like I said, we take care of everything in the back end for you guys. You guys don't have to worry about um, anything besides uh, just you know having someone trained and available, be able to pick up the phone during ad hours. Uh, but yeah, we set up your Google Ads. We manage it. We build out your high converting uh, landing pages. We already have templates that's already um, converting. Um, we also have a unique call tracking system in place so you can track all the calls that we generate for you. As far as our fees goes, it's just $1,500 a month and a one-time setup fee of $500. Uh, that's gonna be good for up to- a month. Yep, and one-time setup fee of $500. So, all right. And then obviously we'd have to allocate more in the budget to actually get the calls as well. Like like per call is going to cost X amount of dollars. Yep, exactly. So you're going to allocate a, a budget towards Google so ads. Get, so at 35, at 3,500 a month, we'll be allocating $2,500, a thousand dollars. What is that? $1,500 per month for calls at, at a $3,500 a month budget. Say that again. Um, so we would be spending 1500 a month. Yeah, and thirty five hundred worth of. We'll get two grand worth of call. We'll get two grand worth of leads for thirty five hundred a month. So thirty five hundred dollars would be its own separate budget towards Google Ads. That's outside of the Got management it. fee. Got it. Five plus the five hundred dollar one time fee. Mm -hmm. Um, I have one more question. About yeah. how long have you been working with uh and been with them for about like two and a half years now? Yeah, we've been working with them oh, for a while. Yeah, that's great. That's great progress. Hey, really awesome. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like I said, I mean, we've been able to help scale up their campaign and, uh, we're, we're even on like Bing ads now too. So we're just finding ways to run ads more and, uh, you know, get more call volume coming in. Okay. Um, and then I had a, I have one last question for you. Yeah. Were you able to find out if we would be able to advertise for trains in Santa Barbara, Goleta, Carpinteria area, or is that a part of your client's domain? Um, uh, it's more north of Ventura. I don't know. Is that the same county, Eric? No. It's, well, the Ventura County ends right at our remodel carpentry. Oh, yeah, you're right there. The county line. Yeah, so it's a different county. Santa Barbara County. Yeah, Santa Barbara County. Oh, yeah, Santa Barbara County. You're good to go. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely interested in that because I am big on drains and I do like that area. We've been working up there. We just, one of the reasons why we're reaching out to a marketing company is we had a, um, a contractor that we work with that did high-end remodels and they subs us out but we we amongst the uh, other contractors that worked for them all had to part ways because they weren't paying us so we we're going through a little dispute with them but we're trying right. to branch off and focus more on the service and repair rather than the new construction so right yeah no if you're yeah. if you guys want to target santa barbara uh county yeah we're we're good to go there we can build out whatever you guys um uh, whatever it is that you guys want to build um for that county all right, awesome. Thank you, Jordan. Awesome. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna look about look into this. Obviously, we have to speak with the uh, the other members of the company and get a you know popular opinion on it. But it, everything you've uh, gone over with us so far sounds really good. We're very interested, and uh, yeah, we we look forward to working with you in the in the future. We're just gonna go over some things, and then we'll give you a call back and set up a, a time to start. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Do you guys know when you guys were kind of like looking to get your campaign up and running by, or is there no timetable for that? 
would say within two to four weeks we want to get it up and running just because we want to get a van but uh as mm -hmm. soon as we get the new van we got to update it with suspension material stocks stuff yeah. like that so perfect we want to make sure everything's in place before we begin the marketing that way we're ready to go once the calls come in perfect yeah just i would say give us like a about a one one and a half week uh heads up it does take us about one and a half weeks to uh build out your campaign and get everything yeah, up and yeah. running yeah yeah, yeah. And then, okay. yeah, once we're done with your campaign, we give you a heads up. You give us the green light. We go live with your campaign. You should start seeing phone calls coming within that same week. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that, okay. Sounds, that sounds great. Awesome. And then yeah. I'm going to also send you guys two uh, documents. Uh, number one is going to be the proposal. It's going to outline everything that we're going to do for you guys so that you guys can see it in writing. Um, and then okay. the onboarding form, whenever you guys are ready to move forward. And that way you guys can just fill out that onboarding form. And uh, my team will be able to use all that information to build out your campaign. Okay. Oh, okay. and real quick, I do have one question yeah. before I let you go. Um, so say we do pay you to build the website and all that. Do you guys hold the rights to that website if we decide to part ways in the future, like five years from now or something like that? Or do we still hold the rights to our, our website? So, page? so it's, 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 um, so all the landing pages that we build up for our clients that we run it, we, we own it because we actually build it through our landing page software. So we actually host your landing page and we own the landing page pretty much. But you guys still yeah. own your Google Ads account and, and all that good stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. I was wondering about that just because that's something that uh, most companies do nowadays. So yeah, just wanted to check that down. But yeah, definitely definitely interested. And uh, I mean, thank you for your time. I do appreciate it. I know the phone call is a little longer than anticipated. But oh yeah, no, you're good. I just, more information. I just want to confirm your email so that way I can send over the, um, the two forms over to the right one here. Is it M... Uh, yeah, that's my direct email. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll go ahead. I'll send those two forms over to you. And if you have any other questions or anything like that, feel free to shoot me an email. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate your time. All right. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Enjoy your weekend. Yep. Bye. All right, guys. So that's another sales call for you guys. Seems like they weren't ready to move forward, but very um, interested. I believe they will end up closing if I just follow up with them. Um, usually I guess you can be like a little bit more aggressive as far as like with the sales calls and trying to get them to move forward, but I don't like to be really pushy, um, as far as like sales call, because, uh, I mean, as you guys know, like for most of you guys that has been following me, um, uh, through my YouTube channel, when, since I've been documenting this, uh, I've never been a good salesperson. Like when I first started, I would hang up with myself. I didn't know what to say on these sales calls. So, uh, you know, I just go off the script. I, I let them make the decision. I, you know, they have more than enough, whatever to, whether they want to move forward or not. And if they don't want to move forward, it's totally fine. But, um, you know, I, I'm, you know, we're very confident that we can help out the specific client. Uh, I mean, we're already doing it for our, our, cli our client in that area anyways. Uh, and then we also mentioned that we, you know, we are exclusive. And I think that just kind of boosts his credibility even more, right? Because you're saying like, you're not so easy to work with. Okay. Like, Hey, I will be straight up and say, Hey, you know what? We are working with the client that area. I would not be able to help you in this specific service because we're already crushing it for somebody else. It wouldn't make sense. And it makes sense for them. They agree with me. Right. Um, and I think, you know, some agency owners, they're going to try to just squeeze, you know, multiple clients in, in one area and, then you guys would just be competing against each other, driving up the cost, and it's just not going to work out that way. So I'm pretty confident he will move forward maybe in the upcoming week or so. I don't think he's going to move forward like right now or this upcoming week, but uh, I think we have a good chance. So hopefully you guys enjoy these sales calls. And if you guys do, let me know uh, in the comment section uh, if these are helpful. It's another sales call in my bedroom.